Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today what we have for you is a couple of freezer meals, and these are going to be perfect for either your pressure cooker or your slow cooker. First one that we're going to make, teriyaki Hawaiian chicken. Super easy. Chicken breast. These are about three quarters of a pound, so you're going to use two of those. Red onion, some baby carrots or just regular old chopped up carrots, some garlic, crushed up pineapple. We want to res keep the juice because we're going to put that in there too. And some teriyaki sauce. We're going to throw all this together. It's going to be delicious. And you know what? It's as easy as... All right, so we're ready to get everything together. I'm just gonna use one of my Food Saver uh, Zip Top bags. Um, you can just use regular Ziploc bags if you don't have this. Um, I just like to vacuum seal my stuff. It, it seems to just um, lock in the flavor a little bit more. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in these massive chicken breasts. There's one. Two, Let's see if everything's going to fit in there. Next, we're going to throw in our liquids, um, half a bottle, roughly 10 ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, a cup of teriyaki sauce. Get this plug out of here. These stands work really well if you don't have a second set of hands. Crushed pineapples. Now what you can do, you can actually use one can of crushed pineapples and then one can of cubed. Um, that's generally what I do, but I just couldn't find any cubed at the store, so I went with two cans of crushed. We're really just looking for the flavor. Red onion diced up. Roughly a tablespoon of garlic or a garlic clove or two. And then for the bag of carrots, what I did was um, I just chopped them up into smaller pieces. Um, I just prefer them that way rather than really, really big. So we'll go ahead and throw in roughly half a bag. So somewhere between six to eight ounces. Now the tricky part without spilling, we're going to try and zip this up. And now that it's zipped up, just roll it back and forth. You want to get some of that ing those ingredients combined. You want to get the pineapple everywhere. You want to get the teriyaki sauce to mix up everywhere. You want to do this while there's a little bit of air in the bag so that stuff's moving around. Once you have it mixed up, if you're just using a regular Ziploc bag, what you can do is just crack it a little bit and try and squeeze out as much air as you possibly can. Watch that fluid, fluid come up and then seal it. If you have a food saver or vacuum sealer of some kind, you can make a, a roughly a gallon size bag, stick all this stuff in there. They also make these resealable vacuum bags where you can just put a uh, there the vacuum here on the side and it'll suck all the air out so let's get ready to throw this in the freezer you can do one of two things you can lay it flat like this or if you have an extra uh, round bowl of some kind that's roughly the size of your pressure cooker drop this inside 
so that when you go to drop it in your pressure cooker to cook it later, it's the same size. But let me go ahead and vacuum this one up and we'll start on that second dish. All right, so for our second freezer meal, what we're gonna make is a creamy Italian chicken. And this one is even easier. Chicken, cream of chicken soup, some zesty Italian salad dressing mix, cream cheese, and some chicken broth. Now for the Instant Pot, we're putting the cream cheese in with the rest of the ingredients. For the slow cooker, you're gonna leave this out until the end, and we'll explain more when we actually make it. But just remember, if you're doing this in a slow cooker, do not add the cream cheese. Okay, so for the creamy Italian chicken, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put in these chicken breasts. And again, these are massive, so I'm only gonna go with two. If you get the smaller chicken breasts, you can go with three or four. Um, but again, these things are massive, so I'm only gonna put two in there. Once those are in, go ahead and put in the Italian dressing, if you can get the package open. The Italian dressing can go in. Then the cream cheese, and again, I know I'm keep mentioning this, but if you're doing the slow cooker, skip this particular step until later. What you're gonna wind up doing is you're gonna put the cream cheese in about a half an hour before it's finished if you do the slow cooker. Let's go ahead and put our cream cheese in there because this particular one is for the Instapot. Put that in there. Then put in the cream of chicken and I'll show you why we're putting this in before the stock. So get as much as you can in there. Then take a little bit of the stock that we're gonna use. Pour it inside and give it a little stir. You can even put your spatula back inside there if it fits. Scrape the interior. Make sure you get everything. Then go ahead and pour that in there. And then wipe your hands off. And pour in the stock. Go ahead and zip this bag up. Make sure it's sealed. I don't know if you saw or will see. It depends, it might be at the end in the bloopers. Um, while I was mixing the last batch up, I wasn't really paying attention. Bag opened up and I dumped stuff everywhere. So maybe it'll be in the bloopers, maybe it won't. but. Just for a little chuckle for you, I spilled it all over the place. Um, I was able to save most of it. It was the one for the um, teriyaki chicken and the slow cooker. So, yeah, that should be fun. But go ahead and mix this all up. So once you have this all mixed up, go ahead and put it in your freezer. I'm going to go ahead and make the slow cooker version, the one without the sour cream in it. And get that one all prepared. And in another episode, we're gonna go ahead and cook both of these recipes, one in the pressure cooker, one in the slow cooker. We'll take a little independent taste test, let somebody else in the family try it without them knowing which one came from where, and we'll see which one comes out better. In the meantime, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. I hope everybody's doing okay. We're on week six of our quarantine here in Southern California. And what we've got for you is a couple of freezer meals and a motorcycle.